My name is Tassos Buntis. I'm a professor at the University of Patras in mathematics in Greece. In Greece. And uh, I know Marco Robnik for many, many years. So I was very happy when he invited me to take part of this conference. Uh, what do you think about the whole concept? I found the concept from the very beginning very challenging, very important, unusual. I wish I could do it like this in Greece one day. I think it should happen in many other cities as well, because it is not a conference that is localized to Maribor or any city. It is a conference that deals with world problems, European problems and world problems. And I am very satisfied. So far, the speakers have been very well uh, prepared and they delivered very interesting lectures. And I hope the young people, like you all, are listening because we are a little older and we have not done everything right. We have made mistakes. And now that the world is complex, we should try to solve them with you. That's what I think. And what did you like the most so far? So far I liked most the variety of the lectures. Uh, the speakers uh, were very well uh, knowledgeable in their fields and they touched different aspects of, of mankind. So they came closer to the science that I believe is very important, called complexity science, and which actually deals with interdisciplinary. We don't look at science in parts and pieces, chemistry, biology, mathematics. We look at science as a whole. Because if you want to solve a problem today in economics, you cannot do it without mathematics. Biology, you need chemistry. Medicine, you need physics and chemistry. We all need all the disciplines. And I find that this has been a very strong message uh, in this conference. Uh, so far it was like you expected that it would be? Yes, uh, it is uh, more than I expected. Uh, it leads to a lot of discussions and uh, conversations. Uh, a conference always, I've organized myself many conferences and summer schools for students. And I find that the best are the discussions after the lectures. The lectures, you listen, you ask a question, but afterwards there were a lot of discussions. And I found out, I discussed with many of my friends and colleagues here, and I found, I saw that the problems, let's say, that we have in Greece with the economic crisis are not only Greek problems. They are shared by many of my colleagues and friends here. It is only that Greece is more dangerous, more close to the difficulty than other countries. So we must learn our lessons. It's like when you have an ecosystem. If you destroy one animal, other animals will also be destroyed if you disturb the ecosystem. So we should all stay together, find out what happened in Greece so that it doesn't happen in Italy, Spain, and Portugal, and Ireland. So we have to be very uh, connected and working together to face these problems. And I'm optimistic. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm optimistic always that the future will be better, but it will not be better just by continuing to be what it was. We are in a box. And the box now, in terms of economics, is a box that says we should save money and raise taxes and cut the salaries and this. This doesn't lead anywhere. You should give people hope and vision for the future. The young people must look ahead and see the light at the end of the tunnel. Then they will be ready to fight and do things. If you turn off the light, there is no hope. That is what is happening today in several countries in Europe. We should change, get out of the box and look at growth and new ideas and new things that we can do and not just save money. Money and banks and economics is not the same, everything. We have to speak about literature, music, culture, education. We must speak about these things, and not only about the euro. Thank okay. you very much. Do you plan to now save money so in the future we can go outside the box? Yes, the plan is, of course, to save. We have been spending and wasting uh, money in the past, that is true. But at the same time, we must look at our ability to grow. That everyone should be able to use the talents. I can live with little money, I don't care. And Greeks have been poor in the past. But poor in money is not so bad. Poor in ideas and hope, that is bad. 
We have to have a hope that the world will be better tomorrow and fight for it. And, and then all the other uh, things will fall into place. Yes, we learn to save. We heard it today. And that we have to save energy. We have to use less fuel in the cars and everything. That's true. We will do that. But we always must keep our minds in the future. What do we want the world to be? And the world must have one center. The center is man and woman, human beings. We are the center of the world. Not the banks, not the money, not euro, not the dollar. We have to keep in mind the happiness and benefit of the people is what is driving us forward. Nothing else. In this way, we will get out of the tunnel and we will be then much better off.